Okay, I promised in the last video that I would show you guys my notes from uh, the citric acid cycle, the notes I actually took and used for my exams and such. And I don't know if they're too visible on here, but I'm going to try anyway. So I, I basically just did it like this, and I went through and memorized these cycles. Now, I said previously with a lot of these things that, you know, is memorization memorization of these complete, of the entire pathway and all the reactions and all the intermediates necessary? Um, the short answer is no, but the uh, short answer also to whether or not it was helpful to me is yes. It was extremely helpful to know this cycle like the back of my hand. It was very, very useful in exams to recall specific reactions necessary um, when asked asked about them. So that I didn't have to go, oh yeah, what did that look like? You know, what 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 did that what what was that reaction? Did it was that a decarboxylation? Wasn't it? okay. Anyway, what I wanted to just show you was the drawings basically. I mean I have oxaloacetate here, I have acetyl CoA here, um, I have my H2O, I have my enzymes catalyzing the reaction, and then I have my products, okay? And my products are citrate and CoA. Alright? So again, I even labeled the number of carbons. I have four carbons here, two carbons here, and together they make a six carbon molecule, okay? So, and I even labeled that. And the same thing for like step two, I have, I have, you know, the isomerization. So it says it's an isomerization here of citrate to isocitrate. So exactly what this reaction is accomplishing. The enzyme, once again, how many carbons, what the name of the molecule is, it's citrate, and of course the drawing specifying what it looks like to isocitrate, which is still a six carbon molecule. Okay, and here's my first oxidative decarboxylation with isocitrate to alpha ketal glutorate. And notice there is an intermediate here. I didn't talk about it because it's not all that essential, um, but there is another little step here. And the enzyme I wrote down here this time is isocitrate dehydrogenase. I always make sure just to label what the enzyme is, just so I know, um, because they often become important in regulation. So isocitrate again here, six carbon molecule. Here's my NAD plus being reduced to NADH, releasing H plus as well. Um, and I'm forming ultimately alpha ketoglutorate, and I'm losing one carbon to make a five carbon molecule. Now I'll flip to the next part of my page here. So here is the rest of the cycle, um, starting up here with the step four, which is the other oxidative decarboxylation, where alpha ketoglutorate is forming suscanyl CoA. So I'm starting with the five carbon alpha ketoglutorate, and I have the enzyme alpha ketoglutorate dehydrogenase complex. I'm forming suscanyl CoA, which is now a four carbon molecule because I'm losing a carbon again. I'm reducing NAD plus to NADH releasing H plus and CO2. And if we move on to the next step here, I have the formation of suscanate and GTP. So, you know, here's suscanyl CoA I'm starting with. I've got GT, G, GDP, NPI, that's the inorganic phosphate. And I got suscanate that I'm forming plus GTP and CoA. Um, and the enzyme is suscanyl CoA synthase. Now the final reaction down here in six on this page is fumarate to um, is the conversion of suscanate to fumarate, and that's converting FAD or I shouldn't say converting I should say reducing FAD to FADH2, and that's by an enzyme known as suscanate dehydrogenase. So you can see kind of where this double bond is here, and in the next reaction, which is reaction seven, I said that you're adding water. This is a hydration, so I'm adding H2O across a double bond to make, you know, again, two single bonds. Form this molecule known as malate. The enzyme is called fumarase. And the final step, which is again an oxidation of um, malate to form oxaloacetate and NAD plus and is being reduced to NADH. Okay, and the enzyme is malate dehydrogenase. So I just wanted to briefly show those drawings and uh, discuss this a little further.